everyone namaste and welcome back to my channel and obviously you got to know from the title this is my weekly meal planning video and I'm not going to talk a lot today because I have a lot more to share with you guys through the video kitchen can be really war zone sometimes if you don't have preparation ahead so I always keep that in mind and I always do little preparation whenever I am off on the weekends or on my off day so this video is perfect for you if you're a full-time working person, if you're a full-time working mother who like to eat fresh, fresh home-cooked meal at home, but you don't have time, so you're juggling between work and kitchen. So this preparation thing help, helps you a lot. I have been doing this thing for a couple of years and trust me, it saves my life. It saves my uh, time, so I get to spend more time with my family. So if you are struggling with this kind of thing like work, kitchen and healthy eating, this video is perfect for you. So watch till end. If you like this video, please share with your friends, family and please please subscribe my channel. I will see you guys next time with new video. Bye-bye. This basic uh, weekly meal planning definitely going to make your whole week very easy and stress-free, especially if you're a working mother like me. And my most important part of my meal planning is to write down the menu. I usually write down the menu on menu board before I go to groceries. As you can see, all these are the breakfast side. I usually don't do planning for breakfast, but for lunch and dinner, I usually plan for the whole week. And these are my, you can see, roti, sabji, momo, pasta, and most of the uh, lunch things are rice and so writing down this meal planning thing makes your grocery trip very easy, very stress-free. You don't have to think that what you're going to get from the groceries. Trust me, taking your child to grocery shopping is very fun for them and for uh, for you as well. And they will learn like healthy eating habits from early age back from store now and these are the vegetables i'm going to make a meal preparation for the whole week and before i chop these vegetables i like to wash it uh, thoroughly in water we should always wash our vegetables and fruits before we cut it so that way we don't lose any nutrient After washing, I will leave them in a drainer for almost like 30 to 30 minutes to one hour so that way it will stay nice and dry and also I use paper towel or any clean washcloth or clean towel to make it dry so it will go, it will stay nice and dry for the whole week. If I see any water still on the vegetables, I usually use paper towel to wipe it off so it will stay dry. So yeah, use paper towel or any clean towel. I don't chop tomatoes, I will wash it and I will just leave it as it is in the basket. Most hardest part of my meal preparation is this spinach. I always, I'm still struggling to keep this spinach fresh, so I am using lots of paper towel, and I will keep it this for like a couple hours, and maybe I will store in the plastic container. I always keep a uh, peeled ginger and garlic in separate container, but it has to be peeled for the whole week, so I don't have to struggle every day peeling. But I don't make it any ginger garlic paste. I just use it um, any curry or anything separately, but I always keep it in separate container in the freeze. And my most favorite part is making dough for like at least three days. It it will save my tons of time i don't have to make a roti dough i don't have to make a tortilla dough every day so i usually keep this for like at least three days 
so all fun part is done cleaning and chopping so it's time to store and you can see my dough here so i'm going to show you how to how i make roti with this dough i don't like making dough for like whole week so i always make dough for like at least three days so anything left over after three days i always discard this is boiled beans uh, this is very high in protein i usually keep this in uh, refrigerator for like a week and you can make a recipe whatever you can like i'm making this curry from that boiled beans and and some boiled chickpea here i will keep the, this for like a week too and you can make a salad or anything or a soup or any gravy from there. potatoes here i always keep boiled potatoes in my freeze because potatoes goes with everything you can make tons of recipe from potatoes like uh, in our language we call aloo chop and cutlet and potato spicy curry lots of thing and my favorite potato is my favorite food too and you can see my spinach is still watery i put lots of paper towel i think i'm gonna make uh, do, dry it again and I always use this kind of container, plastic airtight container to store my vegetables. So it will stay nice and fresh and dry for the whole week. This is all washed and cut. You don't have to wash it again. It's just you, you all have to do is cooking. So we can save like tons of time doing this. Uh, so this is all chopped vegetables. And I placed, as you can see that I placed paper towels in there. And this is this little bowl is my mm, like mixed vegetables bowl. This will go on pasta, fried rice, and if I make any noodles, chow mein, or cutlet, anything. And And this vegetables usually stays very fresh for the whole week and if I see anything is going to be wasted I always try to use it or put it in the freezer and then I can use it like later that month or something and this is as you can see I place the paper towel underneath that way the paper towel will drain all the water and it will help to remain very dry and fresh is my salad beans I usually keep all the salad items in the ba this basket and this is really cute and easy just take it out and take it in and this is really easy And coriander, I always keep it in a mason jar after washing. I didn't buy coriander today. This is from my last week. Uh, it usually lasts for 15 days if you uh, keep it in the mason jar and cover it with a, a plastic bag, any kind of clean plastic bag. And do not do it really tight just tie in the neck of that mason jar so this little preparation helps me in a lot ways like uh, it helps me to eat um, fresh and home cooked meal every day for me and my family and saves lots of money and save time and then i love home cooking food so if you love home cooking please give me a big thumbs up subscribe my channel i will see you guys next week thank you for everything bye bye